All right, good morning, everyone. It's 851. We have a river floods that are out there in terms of the flood advisories and flood warnings because of the rising rivers and also we're going to be on guard for the tides today. However, specifically the Blackwater River and the Kashai River, both we're expecting to gradually continue to rise through Tuesday. The Kashai River, we're expecting it to get up to about 16 feet. That's major levels. Flood uh, stage four, the Kashai River is about eight feet. So it's well above its banks. And as far as the forecast for the Black Water River, again, forecast to get up to about 15.7 feet. Lowering, though, gradually as we head towards our Thursday time frame. But if you live around both those rivers, just be on guard. The, the rivers are still gradually rising. The winds are also a little stronger uh, compared to um, what we've seen. It's definitely lower, but still it's going to be on the stronger side side overall through today anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour gusting up to 30. Right now the winds are only about 17 to 18 miles per hour from Elizabeth City to Manio. Similar conditions in Norfolk and a little lighter over towards Hatteras but the gusts have been up to 30 this morning uh, down a bit from the past couple of hours. Right now 26 mile per hour uh, wind gusts were clocked over in Norfolk and about 28 for Cape Hatteras out of the north. We have high pressure moving in but the pressure difference between that and the remnant area of low pressure affiliate with what was Matthew is pushing away, but the difference between the two again is creating the breezy conditions we're going to have for today. But once high pressure settles in, the winds will gradually gradually relax, and that's going to take place by tomorrow. Temps holding into the 50s anywhere from Franklin to Virginia Beach, but it's about 56 right now in Norfolk. As far as those of you in North Carolina, Elizabeth City, you're also into the mid 50s, but today overall will be a cooler than average day. We're going to warm it up only into the low 60s, low to mid 60s around town through the afternoon, courtesy of that chillier north wind. Tomorrow morning, some 40s it's possible, especially as you work your way inland with mid 50s closer towards the coast. And then as we head into the afternoon tomorrow, courtesy of a lot of sunshine, it is going to be a little bit warmer, but just get ready for a pretty cool start to your day tomorrow, similar to what we saw today. So you do want to have a jacket or a sweater before walking out the door. Specifically, though, with the tides for Sewell's Point, the next high tide time comes in just before five. So expect the waters to begin to rise about a couple of hours before then expecting minor tidal flooding today and same deal for Tuesday morning and then it gets to more nuisance or near minor as we head towards Tuesday afternoons high tide at about 4.2 feet. For today, though, we're expecting temperatures to actually be in the 60s. This is the wrong today map, but here's a specific look at your highs. We're going to go 62 degrees for a high today. Uh, we're looking at 68, though, for tomorrow, so gradual warm up. Again, breezy today. Watching out for the next high tide, and we're also going to be monitoring those rivers because, of course, we already still have water ponding on many roads, and that's just not good news. But the rest of the week does look good for cleanup.